Yeah. Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, MC Six Kicks, man. If you read the title, yes, sir, man, we got a dirt by video today. And yes, actually, I did. I picked up this 2003 KXL 110 for 320 bucks. That's the price I paid for it. Um, actually, just leaving the barbershop. About to head to Paris, Texas, which is about a little over an hour drive. Pick up the bike from the shop. Once I pick up the bike from the shop, and uh, I'll explain everything I've done to the bike. But before we get into that, uh, I'm going to post a, a small uh, B-roll, let you know what the bike looked like beforehand. And, and uh, yeah, so let's get into it, man. Appreciate everybody for coming by, stopping by, checking out this video. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. Please make sure you drop a comment in the section below. And if uh, you like this kind of content, man, please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, y'all, I'm back, man. Uh, just want to show y'all a quick B-roll uh, what the bike looked like beforehand. And this is exactly, and I do mean exactly, what it looked like before I bought it. Um, yes, it is completely blacked out. You do notice the the Chinese gas cap, the, uh, the green uh, <laughs> grips on it. Most importantly, you do notice the chunk that's missing out of the foam on the seat. Um, the only thing good about this bike was that it did run. It did smoke, and I'll get into that a little bit later. And it did have a brand new set of all black plastics. So I, I left the black plastics, and then I went from there. But other than that, the, uh, the chain was completely stocked from 2003. The uh, handlebars were stocked from 03. The seat was completely stocked. That will make, that will let you know exactly why I had a rip in it because it was on there for so long. You know, things tend to go wrong when you keep it on there for so long. But the exhaust was completely stocked. Um, and I say the chain was stocked. The chain, the chain sprocket, um, the inner tube, everything on this bike was completely stocked other than the gas cap. And then you do see the shifter down there was an aftermarket shifter. But, uh, yeah, just want to show y'all. And bang, bang, man, this is after, man. After all the decals, after all the, the performance I did into it, after the new tires, and this is what the bike ended up looking like. If you notice, the YZ got number 11 on it, but the year I was born, actually, 91, so that is the reason why I went with number 91. So let me break down some of the stuff I've done to the bike. First and foremost, the bike did smoke. The rings were shot. The piston was shot, so I took it to my mechanic in Paris, Texas, and he rebuilt the top end on it. The crank was still nice and tight, so we did not touch the bottom end, but we did freshen up the top end. We actually end up uh, rejetting, uh, putting a car rebuild kit in the carburetor, put a new uh, air boot on her as well because the old one was just hard and just it was time for a new one. Put a new gas line on there, so new gas line. New air hose, fresh top end, new gaskets, the whole nine works. So the top end is super, super nice and tight. And yes, I did rock this at the at the uh, shop where I picked it up from. And the throttle response is amazing. So stay tuned tomorrow because I will drop some videos of me riding this bad boy. I will drop I will drop videos of me riding this bad boy tomorrow. But let's get into the looks because that's exactly what makes this bike look like a newer bike so shout out to decal works man i, I went with the garage kit only thing i done was put my number and my youtube name on her as you see put an aftermarket seat cover on her just because it just makes it look better and you sit in the saddle a lot better opposed to a stock seat cover in my opinion as you see i got the same thing on my yz uh went with some mika mica handlebars if you're interested in buying these bars these are the tall bars these are the mini tall bars, and I'm five seven, a buck sixty, and these fit me amazing. Um, put the pro taper handlebar guard on there. Put some pro taper grips. They are black and gray. Um, had to put an aftermarket uh uh brake uh line on it because the the uh the bars kind of make the stock one nice and tight where you can't turn it freely. So if you do get the Mika mini tall bars, you're gonna have to order the aftermarket uh brake line in order for it to run smoothly. Um, oh yeah, Sunstar, they, uh, they provided me with a chain, front sprocket and rear sprocket, went with an FMF, I actually found this on Facebook market for a very, fairly, fairly cheap price, only thing bad about it, the guy did loop it, but it's all good, man, um, yeah, that's about it, man, that was about it, the best thing about these KX110s or the pit bikes in general, they are so, so much cheaper 
to work on, man. So that's why I didn't mind, you know, actually dumping a few, uh, actually a couple hundred bucks into it. Oh, yeah, I did put some engine bling on it, as you see engine bling on it just to just to freshen up a lot of people don't like this but uh especially one of my buddies i put the spoke skins on there some people don't like them most people do and i'm one of those fairly people that actually do like these black spoke skins on there just to preserve the life of the spokes um uh, and that's it man this bike is oh yeah put a tusk uh gas cap on there and a clear hose but yeah that's about it man that's is what we came out with 320 for the bike dumped a couple hundred bucks into it and man she runs she pulls and she's all there through and through you know what i'm saying so yeah let me know what you think of the bike bill let me know how you think it came out and uh with that being said man stay tuned to this channel tomorrow because i will be uploading videos tomorrow of the trail ride we're about to embark on and with that being said appreciate everybody for tuning in stay tuned in stay subscribed and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content that's coming soon with the pit bike and uh with that being said i'll catch you on the next one real soon this is your boy mc6 checking in checking out peace